Right. Talk to me about uh, micropayments in general and kind of where you see this might be going. Um, you know, recent news with Breeze, we've seen the Breeze wallet mm-hmm. and kind of their evolution of trying to help support podcasters uh, with uh, Satoshi, ta- you know, instantaneous payments. I understand you guys just partnered with Breeze. Mm-hmm. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. So we've been working with, uh, it's like, I think you had Adam Curry on your show previously. And so we've been yep, working with Adam, um, Adam Curry and Dave Jones. Yeah, they, they were kind of um, forefronting this uh, podcasting 2.0, um, uh, what's it called? Like just a movement. And so they're uh, they're really trying to bring uh, the Lightning Network and Bitcoin into the existing podcasting infrastructure. And what that is enabling is uh, the content creators to really um, connect with their audience in a new way and enable a new monetization strategy that hasn't right. really been possible before. Um, and so instead of uh, these podcast hosts having to you know, run ads or you know, tie to any particular platform, uh, they're able to connect with their audience directly and their audience are able to, through apps like Breeze and Sphinx and some of these others, there's several um, podcasting apps that have Lightning Network enabled. Through those apps, they're able. The listeners are able to stream money, satoshis, which is you know fractions of a bitcoin, to right. these podcast hosts. And so, what that really enables is it enables the. It's a direct relationship between the listener and the content creator, or you know the consumer sure. and content creator. And so, the the creators are able to tailor what they're making, you know, much more to their listeners rather than the advertisers, rather than mm-hmm. the platform that is running their that is hosting their podcast. Uh, and these are things that really were never possible before, because you, you, when you think about, you know, doing this uh, with like a Patreon or something, I mean, Patreon mm-hmm. or Visa, or whoever is running those payments, or is taking a cut every step of the way. And if you were to run this through them, I mean, the podcast host would get very little from the amount that the the listener is actually giving them. With this, right. with you know, using the Lightning Network and Bitcoin, it's strictly peer to peer. the The payment that a listener is giving for you know listening to a podcast is is they get the full thing. There's like there's no cut. There's no one in the middle. It is from the listener to the the creator directly, and. The second, you know, kind of really uh, cool thing about this is this is um, almost like a streaming money and where they're for every minute that someone's listening, the the app is sending like, you know, a fraction of a cent or maybe it's one cent, it's whatever the user defines, whatever they feel, you know, the, the content is worth. And so it's really uh, enables a more usage based payment method rather than saying, hey, I'm going to give you five dollars a month no matter how much I listen to it. It's really, hey, I listen to you for three hours a day. I listen to your podcast every day, whatever it is. Um, and I'm going to give you that amount of value that I feel that listening you know, is worth. Um, and so through these methods, it's really um, it has kind of like flipped the traditional um, way of thinking about a content creator and interacting with their, their listeners in a completely new way. And it allows these the listeners to support their podcast directly without you know, having, you know, a fraction taken out in the middle. And then it's also right. just directly, you know, person to person. Yeah. I'm, I'm wondering, you know, obviously I get, I get the Breeze uh, model where, where it, you know, it does go off of really performance uh, based, you know, for however many Satoshis you've assigned. And it's starting to ding through if you're listening to Curry's podcast for 15 minutes or, you know, a two hour podcast. Um, and, and, I, and I like that model, but I'm wondering when you look at the amount of creators that both from a podcasting standpoint, and then of course, Apple just recently just dropped their whole model on subscription, which is going to be very unique on how that might uh, play into this. But if you look at the other side for us, it, this is a good example, our own show. Uh, mm-hmm. We, of course, put TechPath on uh, the podcast channel. So it goes over Spotify, iTunes, you know, the typical outlets for podcasts. And then we have a ton of audience that view us right here on YouTube, which is a pretty typical way to get it. We've talked about doing some things with our own, and I'm wondering with more and more creators, um, and this is something I've watched for many years because we study media and just how it's been uh, an evolution of it, of where media is going. And I've seen some creators on YouTube start to move over to things like Patreon and or working into platforms that are much like Breeze, but not necessarily Breeze, where they're trying to eliminate that, you know, that platform intermediary. Do you see the potential here to maybe just leverage up micropayments? So an example would be if we said, hey, support the show TechPath here, drop to this link, you go over here, 
you'd be able to, rather than pay in Bitcoin, you're supporting the show in Bitcoin, but you're doing it through Satoshi level uh, micropayments. Do you see that as a potential kind of hybrid or fork of what potentially could happen in these micropayment potential scenarios? Yeah, I mean, yeah, for sure. And I think that that's, I think the, the reason for the shift into things like Patreon or going to this micropayments setup is, you know, content creators don't want to have to be, you know, censored by their advertisers. They don't want to, right. they don't want to be completely tied to advertisers. And when you're able to, you know, go directly to your consumers, I think that enables you more freedom as a creator to do what you want to do. And then it also, um, lets you, you know, get that, that relationship, uh, establish that relationship with your listeners much easier. And so I think that there's, there's going to be that shift to Patreon. And then as we move along, I think that especially right now with how, you know, how popular just the general cryptocurrency markets have been and a lot of the, mm -hmm. the uptick in, in interest, I think that that will be a, a, the necessary next phase is to move into more of these micropayment um, giving, you know, scenarios where it's strictly peer to peer. And then you could also, you know, really, instead of doing $5 a month, it's completely it's consumption based. Right. Yeah. Just build it off of the, the plot. Of course, that would require app enabled uh, integration where your podcasts. I mean, we had uh, Anita Posh on the show just here recently. She said she's using the platform on Breeze. And it's, it's pretty fascinating. I'm just wondering when the potential uh, YouTube community creators would eventually have something like that that would be potential to, to basically interface with their audience that, uh, you know, could kind of eliminate the intermediary that you have typically with Patreon or any of the others that are out there, including places mm -hmm. like PayPal and all those that uh, stripe them. I mean, you just go down the list. 